Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are in the world. This is Howie, and I'm here to help you win with money. Today is the last day of week number 14, Friday, April 9th, 2021. Before we begin, if you want to level up your thinking, go join Facebook group Investing 102. You'll find me there. You'll learn a lot. Let's have a good discussion. So let's go just see where the markets are at right now. I'm going to hit the refresh button. You see it is spiking at the very last minute. There's about 30 minutes left in trading right now. And I want to show you how I made money this week in Roku. I did a video less than two days ago. It, that option will expire in 30 minutes. So I want to take care of that and, and just finish up some trades. So let's go straight to it. So this is what Roku looks like. I just pulled it right up. If you hit the close button, you'll see the average cost, three cents to four cents with 30 minutes left to go. It will eventually drop to about one to two pennies. So I actually may wait a little bit because I have some other stuff I want to do before the end of the market closes. Here you go. First trade for my Friday. There's only 10 minutes left in trading. I still didn't do my Roku yet. I'm just waiting. So I just rolled this down and out, collected a small premium on Ford. Ford had a nice run up. It still may keep on going up, but $14 a little bit kind of high. So I, mo I moved it out one week, just lowered it 50 cents, and we'll see what happened. I'm just playing it for the premium. Let's go to Roku. With 10 minutes left, I don't expect this to, you see there's no more volume. I may not even be able to close this using this method. I may just have to do one leg at a time and try to get it for this. But we'll we'll try it. I'm like I said, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to close this. And it's surprising, but actually it went across. I got it for two cents, and there you go. I closed it. No more risk for sudden pops after hours. That is the smartest way to go. If you let things expire. Wow, that will save you a dollar in commissions and whatever the cost of it is for three or four dollars or five dollars of risk. You don't want something to move after hours and and then you could be at risk. So that's why I close it. I got into the habit of doing it, even if it's no chance of being in the money. So with that, let me just see if I have any other things to do. The last trade that I got in literally just a minute ago, I did roll this. I didn't roll it down or up, same week. I'm just rolling the strike price closer to the market price. That's all I did. I collected a little bit more premium. So you see that I collected 15 cents because I don't know. I think marijuana stocks and they're, they're not trending in the up direction. So it's a good time for me to roll a little bit closer to the market price. So that's what I did there, collect a little bit of premium. And the market's just closed. And it finished on a strong, strong push. The S&P and the Dow are at new record closes. So that's an awesome thing. Everybody should be feeling good. I always say your 401k plan is definitely worth more. So if you haven't looked at your statement recently, go ahead and look at it. You're going to feel good about yourself with your investments there. And what's driving the market higher? No one knows. Some people say it's the stimulus. Some people say... Um, People are feeling good about the recovery and the recovery play. And when people get vaccines, they're going to travel, go to Disney, fly, take a cruise, uh, spend money at hotels, go out and eat. But these are all interesting things, right? Will that happen? I think it could. So, But here's a really interesting article. Investors have put more money in the stock market in the last five months than in the previous 12 years combined. So the question is, where did some of that money come from? Is it because people are driving less? And so their cars are parked in their driveways and you don't waste a lot of gas. You don't have to go into the office. You eat at home. You're not going out uh, to lunch with your coworkers. Or is it because there was no rock concerts and you don't really go to the bar much? You can't watch a uh, baseball game, football game. You don't go out to sporting venues. You haven't went on a family vacation anywhere, so you have five or six thousand dollars extra that way. So there's a lot of combination of this, and so these are interesting things. The market looks hot. 
make sure you just uh, play play the trend. And I think there's going to be more records. So let's keep on uh, hoping for that. With that being said, let me know how you did this week at the end of uh, week number 14. With that being said, I hope uh, you had a great week. Don't forget, let's do this together. Let's do this $1 at a time. Let me help you win with money. Have a profitable day. Bye-bye.